Hello and welcome to another Elite Code video. Today we're going to be doing the problem of the day for June 24th, tallest billboard. And it's kind of similar to another problem of the day we did, I'm not sure if it was yesterday, where, I think it was yesterday, where a bottom-up DP is actually going to be simpler to explain this. And also, instead of a DP array, we're going to use a DP object. So, or like a DP dictionary. And so let's actually go through this problem. So we have some rods, right? One, two, three, six. And it's basically saying we need to build the biggest set of the biggest two disjoint subsets that we can where the two rods are equal out of all of this. And you don't have to use all the rods, but you have to like figure out what's the best thing you can do. And so in this case, we'd actually want to use this one, two, three for one rod and six for the other rod. And the way the rods work is you can you can add rods to each other. So this one, two, three, you can have like a rod of length one, rod of length two and a rod of length three. And then you can have one other rod of length six and they, like both of these have to be equal. Okay, so let's look at the second example. So we have, let's take a look here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the two disjoint sets we're gonna make is two, three, five and four, six. And if you figure that out, so this is gonna be 10 and this is gonna be 10, so they're gonna be equal. And for the last example, we have one, two, and we can't make two equal rods here because there's only two rods, so there's nothing we can do here. So we were this return zero. So how can we do something like this? Well, the problem, like let's just say we do DP. What states do we have to have? Well, if you do like a top-down DP, you'd probably have to have like a left rod, right? Something like left rod, size, current size, right rod, current size, and like an index maybe. And then you can, and then from there you can figure out uh, like how to do this. But this is this is going to be pretty complex because these are going to be pretty big. So like left rod can be a thousand. So this could be a thousand. This could be a thousand. And then the index is twenty. But this is like ten to the seventh, which is get it getting kind of big. So it's probably not going to pass. It's an n squared solution. So we need something a little bit bigger or a little bit better. And we are given a small hint that some rods is less than or equal to 5,000. But yeah, so what we're actually gonna do is we need to figure out how we can represent these rods without actually, like this is too many, this is too many keys, right? Like if all of these three things are our keys, that's gonna be a problem. We need to figure out a way in our visited or whatever we're using to store this in a smaller way. And so we're actually going to do something pretty cool. And what's going to happen is instead of storing the left and the right, if you think about it, all we have to know is two things. So we have to know the difference between these two. So let's just say the left is like one, two, maybe. So one plus two. And then the right is currently like a six. If we know the difference and we know the tallest rod, there, there's other ways to do this. There's the tallest rod. There is the biggest possible rod that can be built either one of those is good. I'm gonna go with the tallest rod in this example. But what I mean by this is, so we have, let's say we have run one rod, like let's say the left equals three and the right is six in our current implementation. Well, we can actually use the difference between the two rods as the key in our dictionary. So we'll just call this like diff or something. And then for our value, we're gonna use the tallest rod. So this is gonna be the right, which is six. And if you think about it, if we just know the difference and one of the rods, this saves us uh, this saves us a lot because with this implementation we'd have to have all of this in the key we'd have to have some kind of tuple with all of this right and we don't want all of it we want to simplify it as much as we can so now we kind of didn't if we have a difference and we have a biggest rod we can easily figure out the smallest rod right so if our difference let's just say our difference is like three and our biggest rod is six we can easily figure out the biggest rod because it's just the biggest rod minus the difference right and then we can also store the difference zero. And so the difference zero is going to be, you know, when the two rods are equal and then we can do some stuff and then we can return, okay, what's the biggest rod at difference zero? And that's going to give us an output. So there's one other thing I need to mention is that uh, when we have these and we have some numbers stored, so let's say we have like a difference of three and we have biggest number six. Um, so let's see what that would look like, right? So we have a six and we have a three. So the difference of three biggest number six. If we get two bigger rods, or if we get a bigger tallest rod with the same difference, we're always gonna wanna take that. 
So let's say we have something like this, like 20, 17. So this is going to be difference of three, biggest rod 20. We're always going to want to take this over this because if you think about it, like if you add any combination of rods to this right thing, if it'll work for the right, it'll work for the left because the only thing we're concerned is that the difference between the two rods is zero. But the one on the right will always produce a bigger output. So what we're going to always do is whenever the difference is the same, we're always going to override the smaller difference with the bigger difference. So now we have enough to actually go through this example. So let's do that. So we're going to initialize that the difference of zero is going to be node zero, and this is the, going to be the one we're returning. So we're going to start at this value here. And what's going to happen is we are going to try to add that to wherever we can. So we need to go through our list of values, which in a snapshot is just going to be this value here. And so when we go through that value, so we have a zero and a zero, we can add a one to either one. It doesn't matter. It's going to be the same because it's zero and a zero. So that's going to give you a difference between um, rods of one and the biggest node is going to be a one. So that's going to be one, one here. And then we are done there. Now we need to go to the next uh, available number. So we're going to go over here to the two. And for the two, we're going to go through all of these. And so what's that going to be? Well, for the zero, zero, it's the same thing. We can add a rod to either side. That's going to be a difference of two and biggest rod two. And now for this one, one, we can add. So for this one, one, it actually does matter because this is difference one here. So we can either add the two here, in which case that would be difference three, node three, or we could add the two to the other side. So if we have a two and a one here, now that's going to be difference one and the biggest node is a two. So that's going to be one, two there. Okay, so that's done with that. Now we go to the three. Definitely easy to screw up, so hopefully I don't. Okay, so for the three, we need to go to all these. By the way, so I did forget one thing actually before we do that. So once we add something new, we do need to override old stuff. So like this one, two would override this one, one. So this would actually go away. And then now, let's just throw this up here to make it a little bit cleaner. So this would actually go up here and let's get rid of these curly braces as well. So now these are our new values. Okay, so for the three, we are going to be going through these and then adding new stuff. And then we're gonna be, but we're gonna be overriding the old stuff. Uh, we are gonna be overriding the old stuff right away, but this is like the snapshot of the items that we that we made so we that we can use them because like you saw we are going to be overriding them but you want to make a separate snapshot so you don't override them as you're accessing them because that's going to be troublesome okay because you can even override them before you access them like you can override this one too with something before you even access that and that would be a problem okay so for the three it's pretty straightforward right we just have two zeros so we can add a rod to either side it doesn't really matter so the difference is going to be three the biggest rod is going to be three and we already actually have that so we don't need to do anything there now, for this 2, 2, what's that going to look like? Well, we have a rod 2 and a rod 0. So we can either add a 3 here, in which case that would be difference of 5, biggest rod 5. We don't have that currently. So 5, 5. Or we could add this 3 over here, in which case that's going to be biggest rod 3, difference 2, uh, difference 1, sorry. Okay, and then do we have that? No, we do not. Okay. Now we, so we just did the 2-2 two, two there. Yeah. So now we need to do the 3-3. Three, three. So we're actually over here. And so for the 3-3, three, three, that means we had a rod of 3 and a rod of 0. So there's two cases again. We can either add it here, in which case we would get a, uh, we would get a 6-6, six, six, right? Difference of 6, biggest rod 6. Or alternatively, we could add it to the left, in which case we would get something like this. And that would be difference of zero, biggest rod three. Okay. Now we have to do this one right here. So we had a biggest rod two, difference of one, which means we had a two and a one. Okay. Now we can add the three here, in which case the biggest rod is five, difference of four. Or we could add it to the left, in which case we're gonna have the one, the three, two over here. So now the biggest rod is four, difference of uh, the biggest rod is four difference of two, so two, four. And then this one was biggest rod, five difference of four. So let's add those in, so four, five. 
and 2, 4. Okay, and now we are going to override some stuff. So we're going to override this one with the 1, 3. Now we're going to override this one with this right here. 2, 2 we're going to override. And then 3, 3 we're not. So now let's actually clean this up a bit. this, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of that. Okay, now let's actually rewrite this up here. So let's just say we have a 3, 3 here. Now we're actually going to take this here and put it over here. There we go. Get delete that, delete that, delete that. Okay, so now we're on the last number finally. And let's just make this, uh, I don't know, red again maybe? Sure. So this is going to be the very last one that we're going to be doing. Hopefully it didn't screw anything up here. Okay, so we go here and uh, actually I think what I'm going to do for this last one, instead of, instead of doing this for all of them, I'm just going to override the number that we care about. So I'm just going to figure out how we can get this, because the thing we're actually going to be returning is the thing with key zero. The thing we're going to be returning is the thing with key zero, and so let's figure out which one is going to get overridden for that. So you will you will have to go through value by value, but that's going to be like 20 values. So I'm just going to find whichever one is actually going to make our thing right. It's actually going to be this one right here. So when we go to this 6-6, six, six, it means we had something like this, 6-0. And so when we add this 6 over here to the left, now this is going to be difference 0, biggest number 6. So when you have this zero biggest number six, once you get you know the rest of these numbers, like you'll go through one by one and get them all. Now this this thing right here will override this. And so now at index zero, we're gonna have a value six, and then we're actually gonna return whatever is at index zero after we go through this whole thing. So hopefully that makes sense. We're gonna be going through this whole thing, and we are gonna return index zero because zero means the difference is zero. And remember the problem actually asked you to return the two rods with a difference zero, but the biggest height possible. So now hopefully that makes sense why we're returning this. And we're going to be overriding values with the biggest rods possible, because if there's the same difference, you always want to use the biggest rod. OK, so let's actually code that up. And yeah, and I made my um, code a, a little bit bigger so people could see it better. So hopefully that helps people. So that, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to make it in the future actually focus on the code, but I haven't done that yet. Okay, so what do we need to do? Well, we need to have a DP, we need to have some kind of DP object, right? And so that's going to be this. And we're going to initialize the difference of zero to be zero. Now we need to go through every single rod and rods. So we could do that. So for rod and rods. So we actually need to get all the values in DP. And remember, we need to store them because we're going to be updating them. So we could do something like, for diff and what's the other value? Uh, so it's a key in an object, so let's just call it tallest maybe in dp dot items. And I think you want to make this a list. The reason you want to make it a list is because we're going to be updating dp items. So we want to just make like a new instance so we could save that. Okay. And so now pretty much all we have to do is we have to calculate like what, what's going to be the difference in the tallest when we add to the smallest and when we add to the biggest. And so remember dp.items has this is a difference and this is a value. So we have two cases. We can either add the rod to the smallest or the biggest. So let's add the rod to the biggest first of all. So what's that going to be? So the new diff, so let's just call that new diff, is going to be diff plus rod, right? Because if we're adding the rod to the bigger, to the bigger rod, then the difference is just going to increase by whatever we're adding. Okay, and then tallest, so let's just say new tallest, is going to be the old tallest plus the rod. Okay, so now we need to update our dp. So dp of, and this is going to be new diff. And remember, when we update it, we need to see if there's anything in there. And if there is something in there, we need to use the biggest value. So we need to calculate, like, what's our new tallest rod and what's our old tallest rod and what do we use? So it's actually going to be the max of our old tallest rod, and that's going to be dp.get of new diff. And so th this value might not be in there. And so if it's not in there, then you have to provide a default value. And so we're just going to provide a default value of 0. 
and our like and then we also have to put in the new tallest rod so we have to compare what was in there originally and what we're putting in and then pick the biggest one there okay so now we do this again for the smaller rod so the new diff is going to be um maybe I actually want to calculate the smaller rod here it might be easier and then i can get a new diff but it, it honestly doesn't matter yeah, so the new diff is actually going to be yeah. Let's actually let's actually calculate the smaller rod, right? So let's just say the smaller rod for the for the second part equals. Uh, and this is going to be tallest minus diff, and then we're going to add we're going to add to the smaller rod. So this is going to be plus rod. Okay, so now we have the smaller rod. We we calculated it. Now we're going to add to the smaller rod. Now we can get the new diff. So the new diff is going to be the absolute value of new tallest rod. It's actually not going to be the new tallest rod. It's going to be the old tallest rod. So it's going to be tallest minus smaller rod. And the smaller rod might be bigger now. That's why I did the absolute value. It might be bigger. OK. And now the new tallest is going to be the maximum of smaller smaller rod and the bigger rod, so tallest. So when we added the when we added the new rod to the smaller rod, it might be the bigger rod now. So we have to figure out like which one's taller. And then this is a new difference. We just take the one of the rods minus the other rod, and it's either gonna be positive or negative, but it doesn't matter. Okay. And so now we can do this same thing pretty much. I think this is literally the same code. Let me just double check. Yeah, I think this should be pretty much the same code. And so now what we need to do is we need to actually return dp of zero. And there's guaranteed to be a value in there because we already have a value in here. OK, let's see if that works. OK, looks like it does. OK, nice. So let's figure out the time and space complexity here. So for the time, we are going to be going over every single rod. So that's going to be like r, just call that. And then we're also going to be going through every single item in the dictionary, which means however many differences you can have, like however many combinations of differences you can have. Well, it's not, a, no, it's not, it's not even combinations of differences. It's just, so if we're going to, this loop can go through the items and the item just means like, what's the, what's the difference you can have. And so the difference technically you can have is going to be like maybe some rods or something like that, I think. Yeah, it's going to be somewhere along the lines of some rods, I think. Because the biggest difference you can possibly have is like some rods, I think. Like if the sum rods is 5,000, that means you can, you know, worst case scenario, have numbers between like 1 and 5,000 in there. And so since since our keys are differences, this is going to be the, the number of keys we'd have to go through or the number of, number of items we'd have to go through. So that's the time. And then space is basically uh, like how big is our DP object. And I think our DP object here is just some rods because every key is a difference. And we're over, we're, remember, we're overriding like values that aren't good. So whenever we get a better value for the same key, we're overriding it. So we're just limited by the number of keys. Every single key will only have one value. And we're not going to have like, yeah. And so I think that's going to be some rods there. Okay, so that's all for this problem. Definitely kind of a long one, definitely tricky. Uh, rare case of bottom up being better, but hopefully I did job, a good job explaining it. And if you still have any questions, write in the comments. And if you like the video, please uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.